absolutely adore this song. I've heard it a bunch of times. It is... It's just a great song. It's about this guy who's basically singing about his grown-up years. And how he's waiting and he's, he's going to have to wait and see um, what happens to him. He is... It's basically him saying that, you know, he's sorry for what he's done in the past. And he's ready to just... He's ready to give his life to the Lord. That's and that I love that. That's a this is the kind of song by a, a person who really adores God. And I definitely think you should check this song out. If I were a singer, I'd definitely sing something like that. This song is good, very good. I recommend you check it out. What? Okay, number six. This is also a popular singer, but not really heard much. Uh, the Motions by Matthew West. This one, I I chase down my. I mean, I chase down every song to look for the song. I finally got it. It's it's got the I I think I first heard it when I went walked into my old church, and. I just heard it on the radio, and he was like singing, Cause I don't want to go through the motions, I don't want to go one more day, without your own consuming passion inside of me. That, that is what I like, that's, no, love, that's what I love. So, you should definitely see this song, and you should definitely sing it. There's also a music video, not by Avivo, it's Emma Music, but it's great. It's a very great song. And in case you haven't noticed, yeah, I recommend it. Number five. See, um, Whom Shall I Fear? Slash, I mean, uh, aka God of Angel Armies by Chris Tomlin. Now, this is a song that I can listen to over and over. This is a song. This is about, by the way, the other song, The Motions, is about him singing about how tough it is to get through something. Um, but with God's help, he can get through it. He's basically saying he's not afraid. To do something bold. He's saying that he's going to do it. Because he knows that he's going to feel something. This song. He's singing about how, how, what the Lord does to the enemy. He's singing about how God has, is protecting him. He has nothing to fear. Except for God. But that's a good fear. Um, this song. Is singing a, it's basically singing to people how they they need to be they they um they just need to relax because God is protecting them and they don't they don't have to worry about them turning to the dark side they don't have to worry about them getting in trouble they don't have to worry about them losing something I mean they'll probably lose something at some point like if it's a test or something but they won't. No matter what, the spirits will not drop to rock bottom. That's what he's saying. Because God has you protected. He knows what's best for you. He knows that you're going to pull through if you just believe in him. Alright, so, number... Uh, number... Yeah, number four. That, uh, this is also a great song that is by another great band. Um, this is actually, um, a song that I, that I listened to over and over as soon as I watched it. It beat the other two songs. That is Sold Out by Hawk Nelson. Hawk Nelson, uh, you did a great job on those songs. You are an amazing band. Um, so, I, this song I really did enjoy. This song actually made me feel better. 
So, this song, it's saying that he, he's not living for himself anymore. He's going to follow Jesus to the end of time. He's going to run after Jesus with his whole heart. Sold out, he's saying that he's selling himself, himself slash giving himself to the Lord. How awesome is that? That is freaking awesome. Alright. That is why I love this song. It is just awesome. It is everything that a worship song should be. Do you get that? Hawk Nelson, you are a genius. This is also, this is a great song. I recommend you check it out. Sorry for my enthusiasm. Slow. So, coming in at number three. God is on the move by seven times down. This is a song that I also recently found. And I enjoyed it just like sold out. This is a song about how God is on the move. And how he's going to... How, what he does when he turns darkness to light. He's it's basically singing about his miracles. How he can trust God. How he can put his faith in trust. I mean, not put his faith in trust. Put his trust in the Lord. Put his faith in the Lord. That is super cool. So, this is a song that I love. I recommend you check it out. God is on the move. Don't ever let that go. Don't ever doubt for a sec that he doesn't have your life in his hands. He's got it under control. So, here we go. I don't think I can hold it in much longer. These are two of my favorite songs in the whole world. Actually, probably the two best songs in the whole world. Number two, Greater by Mercy Me. I mentioned this already a little back there. It's actually, I mentioned on I Can Only Imagine. This song is saying that I will, I will lose the battle. Not me particularly, but everybody, they will lose the battle sometimes. But God is greater because he already won the war. That is amazing. That is another song that is trying to get out a brilliant and intelligent message. It is saying that you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to worry about if you lose a battle. You have got God, who's already won the war. He has won everything. Satan, you're a punk. Take that. I may lose the battle, but God has won the war! So, that song is awesome. I recommend you check that out. The music video, the lyric video, every single greater and greater. Or if you want to do it the old-fashioned way, listen to it on the radio. Buy a disc from Walmart, just listen to it over and over. It is amazing! It is amazing. Alright, so before I get to number one, I like to get I have a few honorable mentions. Never Too Far Gone by Jordan Phyllis, which is saying that it doesn't matter what you've done, you are never too far gone. Because the Lord can forgive. He can forgive. He can let that go. He has your life. He he doesn't care if you made one mistake. He or a thousand mistakes. He has already forgiven you. You are more than you can be. You can... I mean, you are more than... than you can be more than what you are. You can put your trust in the Lord. You can just believe in it. Put your trust in Him. And He will guide you through. Alright, another honorable mention is Sparrows by Jason Gray. Jason also happens to be the... the uh, you know, one of the worshippers that actually taught me a very important lesson. Um, if he can hold the world, he can hold this moment. Meaning, God holds everything. God holds everything. 
You don't have to worry about tomorrow. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about today. But you don't have to worry about tomorrow or next week or next year. You can put your trust and faith in the Lord that He will guide you. He knows what's best for you. He will do it. All right. So that's enough. Uh, oh wait, one more. I will mention. Actually, two more. I will mention. Which is third day, soul on fire. My love enjoys that. My mom enjoys that song. Did I say love? I'm sorry. My mom is crazy about that song. She, whenever she hears it on the radio, she is all like, she sings it. I mean, she literally sings it. It is amazing. It is a great song. I really enjoy that song. You should definitely check it out. Alright, so the last song I'll mention is If We Are the Body by Casting Crowns. I simply adore this song. It is amazing. It is one of the best songs out there. 